Day two? Yeah, kind of like day one. You know, there's uh, got some progress. I thought we made a little bit more progress today. Did a little more, uh, a few more periods of team, even though it's in shorts. And uh, there's a couple guys that got banged up, I think, but nothing, nothing major. But we still got to get better, particularly quarterback. We got to get better throwing the ball. When you reviewed the film of the first practice, did anything or anyone jump out at you? Nah. Were all spring practices built the same? You've been through a number of them, obviously. But did they go with changes? Did you change? Or? Yeah, I think. Yeah, well, I try to. We try to evolve every year. But, uh, you know, we get a new idea or. or a, whether it's a drill or some fundamental work we got to get better at. You know, it's both mostly fundamental in nature. Uh, and I hope because it's the second year of the defense, there's a little bit more retention on, you know, what we installed in the fall. But, uh, you know, the pads will tell a lot. And as I tell the players, we film everything. Gosh, we film every drill we do and we evaluate constantly. And so these guys all want to compete and try to earn playing time. And they're not going to – I don't think you can – guarantee or earn a starting job in the spring, but you can at least show that you're good enough to win with. And there's a lot of young guys that, that are trying to do that now. With those cameras, do you catch lazy? Do you catch... Uh, do you, catch you know, you it's, catch? It's, it's good. Fortunately for us, um, you know, and I think most programs are that same way, but we, you know, we, we don't have to beg them to play hard. That's the one thing, even when we're playing poorly in the past, we're at least playing hard. And some of the young guys, you know, they think their version of hard may not be... Uh, what my version is, but for the most part, they they go pretty hard, and that's a that's a credit to their mentality. In regard to the passing game, what is it that you're looking for specifically? Well, we just you know one when when the easy completions are there, we got to take it. We got to do a better job of of uh, understanding the total route package and where we're going with each guy. And it's I think you know, the quarterbacks we have can do it. You know, they they'll make progress, but. Uh, they're not going to get settled in 15 days of spring. They got to do a lot of work on their own in the summer, and they're capable. That's the one thing I'm, I'm pretty confident. We got guys can make all the throws, uh, but we just got to do a bunch of it. We got to do a bunch of it in practice. They got to do a bunch of it on their own in the summer. Is there anything with Khalil specifically that you feel like he needs to work on fundamentally? Or the, the probably, uh, you know, fundamentally, there's some stuff. Uh, he'll get overextend a little bit, but more than anything else, is just learning the offense and, and learning uh, how. Deep coverages are adjusting to route packages and all that, and it's tip, not untypical of any young player. I mean, he played last year before he was ready as a 17-year-old true freshman. You know, he's he'll be more ready this year and more ready to compete with uh, with more of the offense. How has JJ Taylor looked these first two days? Yeah, he's done a little bit. Him and Nick are kind of. Uh, I was just teasing him uh, after flex; it was all downhill for them. <laughs> they didn't do much after that. But Coach McGee is being smart with them. They'll both take some reps, and uh, they're pretty sharp guys. So we don't worry about what they need to learn offensively. And uh, they'll take, they'll both take some reps, but not a lot this spring. How much does that benefit Silver coming in fresh? Oh, it's going to benefit. Well, it's just going to benefit him from the standpoint. He's got to take a lot of reps, and he's a big physical guy. And um, is at that position, you need a bunch of guys that can play, as we saw last year. So hopefully, uh, Tilford and Brandon Leon and. You know, Zach Green is still there, and we got a couple other guys that are going to get a chance to prove themselves this spring. When, when you when you have given the ball to JJ or seen him run, does he look like what he looked like before he got hurt? Like, this, does he look like the same? Yeah, well, I mean, I, don't, I mean, not in, like in in uh, pre practice and flex, he has. I mean, after that, he hasn't he hadn't gotten it. You know, past like I said, after stretch, his day was pretty much downhill. So I was just teasing about, it. but JJ just it he begs to be in there, and Nick wants to be in there too. So. It's not like they're trying to milk it and get out of anything. We're just being cautious. What's your last year's defense? What did you learn? Maybe top two things that you need to do. Oh, uh, play need. better defense. <laughs> One, you know, and, and two. Uh, two uh, try to get a three and out maybe once would help. <laughs> yeah. That's that's probably a good start. It was just that bad, or was it just out of your? Existence? Yeah, it was just it was, it was bad. Yeah. But uh, it wasn't for effort or for guy coaches not trying hard. It was just we just weren't good. Yeah. We weren't good in any phase. We weren't good on first down. We weren't good on third down, second down, fourth down. We had to play fourth down. Uh, we looked good in warm-ups, and then after that, it went downhill. But we got good players over there, and we got really good. Co we got good coaches, and I'm completely 100% confident that not only will we be better defensively, mm -hmm. but we'll be infinitely better.
on defense. That's how much confidence I have in our guys. What are your expectations for Michael Elatis this spring and this season? Well, once he starts practicing, our expectation is he'll compete to play. You know, he was a guy that redshirted and he needed to get redshirted, but um, hopefully he'll start practicing later in the week and and uh, compete for some playing time uh, as a redshirt freshman. You've been talking, work. Go ahead. You were talking about how bad the defense was. I mean, is there any silver lining that you can take away from last season? Yeah, it can't get much worse. I guess. I don't know. I mean, the effort was good, and like I said, they weren't. It's not more for lack of trying, but you know, I didn't. There's not one particular thing that we did well defensively. We just, but that's not. But there wasn't any one particular guy's fault. If you're going to blame anybody, you blame me. But uh, I think like I said there were some guys that that need to they need to get stronger, need to grow, and and I think uh, you know our defensive guys will have a good plan, and we got some we got some good players now. But we're going to get helped by quite a few newcomers too. Um, class of whatever, 43, 44 new guys coming in. A bunch of them can help us on defense. Okay, guys. Thank you. It's okay. moving on with the rest. Thank you.